This is what you guys have been asking for. Best class setup videos returning for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This is episode 1. We're going to be covering one of the very first weapons you can unlock because most of you guys are going to be using it at some point. And if you're hyped for this series returning, give it a big fat thumbs up. I made a playlist down below within that playlist. I'll include all of these best class setup videos. So if you're watching this in the far future, there'll probably be tons of videos out for the best class series. So check out that playlist for all of them. But let's not waste any time. I know you guys want these classes. So today we're going to be covering the KN4. The first assault rifle you unlock within multiplayer, so let's jump into it. As you can see here, I've got a very cool camo on it. I'm just going to show you guys the camo quickly. It's actually one of the extra camos I got for, I think, pre-ordering the hardened edition or one of the special editions of Black Ops 3, because I know there'll be a ton of comments asking me how I got that camo if I don't explain it. So, first of all, this weapon is based around stealth, attachments, and there's nothing in the terms of secondaries or uh, lethals or anything like that. I like these classes a lot. I've done them a lot in previous Call of Duty games, and they work really well within Black Ops 3 because gunfights are so important. So I've gone for no optics. I've recently changed this up. I was using red dot sight a lot, but when the iron sights are so good on a weapon, just don't bother using a red dot sight. Get used to that iron sight. It's going to give you a free point to use in your creator class, and that is invaluable, my friends. Attachments, you've gone for four in total. This meant we'd have to use two Two wild cards to get the third attachment and then unlock the final two attachments which will unlock the fifth and sixth one we don't have any space unfortunately for the sixth one but four in total so first of all quick draw quick draw is extremely extremely useful will allow you to aim down sights quicker at this stage of the game where a lot of people are new players and don't necessarily have quick draw on if you've got quick draw on your weapon having that advantage in the gunfight can save you so many times do not leave it out of your class it is so so useful Next up, we've gone for the Suppressor. Now, the Suppressor I've gone for because I wanted the Stealth class. Obviously, when a new game comes out, if you're quiet on the radar, you can survive for a long time because most people are running around the map trying to shoot everyone they see on their mini-map. If you're not appearing on that mini-map, you're a little bit of a ninja, you know what I mean? So the Suppressor is a big addition to this setup and um, it will make the gun a little bit weaker at longer ranges, but trust me, it's worth it and it means you can be invisible. We're using this weapon and it's very, very useful. So next up we have gone for, uh, over here, Fast Mags. Fast Mags A, can I say, look absolutely awesome on the actual weapon here. That, like, it looks so cool when you put two onto each other and being able to customize this weapon and it's all the attachments change its looks makes it look awesome as well. Fast Mags just means you're going to be reloading quicker and since I play a lot of free for all, it means that if I'm shooting someone, shooting another person, finally, suddenly find myself with low ammo, it doesn't matter. If I just hit that reload button, I'm going to be reloading soon super quick, get my ammunition straight back into that gun and I can get straight back into another gunfight without having to reload or waste too much time uh, worrying about finding a corner to get, get a safe place to reload or anything like that. So it just means you're red, ready, agile and just ready for any enemy that's going to come at you so you're quicker in gunfights. Next up we've also got stock. Now stock does not do a lot within Call of Duty Black Ops 3. It's been nerfed a lot from previous Call of Duty games for the assault rifles but that slight advantage it does still help. So stock basically when you're aiming down sight and you're looking at an enemy and you're straight left to right, you are still going to be very quick and still agile. Now, in this game, the submachine guns are very, very quick while aiming down sights and while moving around. So you need to try and keep up with those SMGs. Now, challenging an SMG close range anyway with an assault rifle is not good, but it means at longer ranges, when you're shooting at someone, you're straight because a little bit, you'll be a little bit more mobile, a little bit more agile, and all those submachine gun guys are going to find it a little bit tougher to shoot you down. So that sort of wraps up the class there in terms of attachments as well to the main bit. But we've gone for no secondary, no lethals, and no tacticals because we've used, I believe, seven of our points over there on just the weapon. But it's good. It's a good weapon to do not right. We're jumping now down to perks. We've gone for six cents at the moment. This is what I'm using non-stop. Essentially, it will add a directional arrow to your mini-map, either the top, bottom, left, or right, to show you if an enemy is extremely close to you. Now, in most situations, if an enemy is that close that they're appearing on your six cents mini-map, um, like, they're probably next to you, right? But... It works really well if an enemy is below you or above you on the floor because it will start flashing and obviously there will be no one around you. will be like, ah, they're, they're down below or ah, they're upstairs. So it's really, really useful for that and great for locating enemies. And I use it all the time. It's just very useful. It also works well if someone is sitting in a corner and you rush past them and you see your little sixth sense blink off. You spin around and be like, bam, I know he's there. So that works really well too. Next up, perk two. I've gone for anti-up. Now, I don't use this in a lot of my classes, but I like this one because it's a stealth class. I'm going to try and survive for a while and try and get those higher kill streaks this will start you with a little bit of a bonus in terms of your scores which means getting that UAV is going to be a little bit quicker and it just builds you on that sort of set to getting your kill streaks as quickly as possible and I like it just to get that sort of boost at the beginning of the game Finally, I've gone for awareness. Now, at the moment, playing a lot of free for the enemies all around me. Of course, I use a really good headset. This is my little um, Turtle Beach 
uh, headset right here. I believe it's called the 500Xs or the 800Xs. Is that actually? Boom. This is the box right here. The 800Xs, they're absolute machines. They're, they're such good headsets. And partnering that with awareness means that you can actually hear a lot of footsteps. And you just reload your silenced weapons. You can hear them. Not necessarily seen on the Mii map, but hear them. I've also changed my audio settings a little bit. So I may do a video on that, explaining my headset, explaining the audio settings. But it means I can hear a lot of in-game sound. Now, the point running about kill streaks. Kill streaks obviously aren't a key part of the best class setup videos, but I like to know, I like to share with you guys what I'm using at the moment. Now, I haven't got onto max rank yet, still ranking up, getting towards that first prestige, getting close, getting close, but I'm rocking UAV, count UAV, and Wraith. Wraith is an absolute beast, it's a stealth chopper machine, or just go to town. UAV, obviously, you're trying to locate those enemies as quickly as you can. Count UAV is arguably not needed if you've got a silenced weapon, but I like to screw with the enemy and just get their minimap completely offline so they have no idea what they're doing and it just means they're a little bit more cautious, a little bit more wary, and you can catch them off guard that much easier. So guys, that has been our first best class setup video for Call of Duty Black Ops 3, covering the KN44. Again, smash that thumbs up button if you're excited for the series to return. Leave a comment down below, let me know which weapon you'd like me to cover next. I've got tons more videos here on the channel as well. So make sure you subscribe, check out that playlist for more. You guys have been awesome, tons more Black Ops 3 videos to come your way guys, and I'll see you guys soon.